Hi! I'm filming with my new phone. I have already filmed one video when Molly and Linda was here, but uh, I want to film some more to see. And it feels like everything is crooked. And I have to fix because this camera turns everything around so it gets the other way. And I don't like that. Um, and this is a Samsung Galaxy S10. So if you know how to do that, it doesn't look wrong now, but it will when I have recorded. And I will probably look annoyingly somewhere where I shouldn't be looking. <laughs> and this is going to be weird because this video is a haul. And my last video was also a haul. <laughs> But that's life and now I have finally figured out how to do so when you see this I will also have learned how to edit and that stuff and that also means that I am I, I am in the process of filming my palette collection. I know I've said that a lot but now I have prepared everything and planned on you know I have divided it up into 10 parts. So I've written down which brands are in uh, each uh, video and so on. But I want to take this away first. <laughs> so let's start with the haul. Ah. Should we take this in some order? I can take this so I can put it away. I just uh, got this. Uh, it's the Beauty Bay M.M. Mitchell palette. I don't know. Uh, I have one Beauty Bay palette before. I hate it. But everyone says that this is good. And they had a sale on Beauty Bay. So, so I bought it. But it came smashed. This brown is smashed. And I put a lot of uh, liquid in it. Um, so it will take a while to dry. But it looks like this on one side. And then we have the mirror. Yeah, I could have shown you this. It looks like this. So it's a lot bigger than I thought. And it looks really nice. And there are only seven shimmers. There are four on this side and three on this side. Including the one that is broken. So let's see if they answer me back, Beauty Bay. But I will put this over here so it can dry. <laughs> going to take this so I don't forget anything like that and then I bought this this is the Ilamasca Hydra Veil is it called Veil and this is so weird but people say it's good especially Paulina and I almost broke this because I didn't realize you could yeah and you open it up and it's so weird it's when it came, there was a dent in it, but it's fixed itself, you know. It smells nice though. That will be interesting to try. And I love the box. Is there a product? No, I don't know. Let's screw this on. <laughs> Have I imagined that there will be balls in this? I don't know. But it looks like this anyway. I like it. It was also on sale. Uh, yes, let's put that away. And then this came today. Look, this is so pretty. It's so much prettier in real life. And it's, it's so nice quality. I would have got... A, it's like a thing you would get without there being eyeshadow in it because you can use this to put things on I won't do that but yeah and I really like this because this makes it so easy to open because you only do like this and you have already seen this of course but it looks like that and even this oh well now I put my finger in the eyeshadow I meant this is raised it feels so nice well, now I have swatched that shade and I can swatch the shades I want to swatch. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that also looks nice from this angle. Oh, I have eyeshadow everywhere. Uh, but, oh, it's so hard to hold up. Which shade was it? That shade. 
looks not very exciting over there but it looks like a dual chrome like a purple can you see it's like a lavender gold whatever look at this and that and that is supposed to be weird Ooh. can you please stand up Oh, don't throw everything away. Ah. Oh my god, I love that shade, Beauty Sleep. Oh. I already have shadow everywhere since I fixed that eyeshadow that was broken. But yeah, I've already fixed. So these are, you know, being on top of each other. And then I will have this fixed in some way. So it can fit over here, and I only have this small controversy, mini controversy palette left. <sighs> Let's take away the plastic as well. So yeah, I really, really like this. <sighs> mm, good quality. Then I finally got this. This is the last certified palette I don't have, so there will probably come one come out one more now than I have gotten this. This is the Eternity palette. This is not broken, but when I got it, there were eyeshadow everywhere. But there is not one that is broken. This is a more neutral one, but you know, I like reds and peach and purples. So and I have the other ones and I love the certified formula. So yeah. Then I bought this. This is the uh, It Cosmetics CC Cream. I already, already had this. Oh, now I can check that I bought the right one. Wait. Because this is um, a replacement because they had the sale on these on our Swedish store. Yeah, I, brought the, I bought the right shade. I have Fair. Because they finish up rather easy or I haven't finished it up but it feels like it's finishing up really quick so I really love this and that one ow is going in the backup drawer I then I bought some dupes from W7 <laughs> look at these can you see what they are duping they are duping, I have two Viseart palettes, or Viseart, or Viseart, and it's these two, but the original. This, can you see what they are called? Good Girl Gone Bad. Can you see? And they look really nice, actually. And it will, I'm going to do a video with these, and yeah, they make nice dupes. So yeah, they are dupes of, you know, what are they called? The editorial brides and the dark mats. Um, and I saw this and I thought, you know, I have all the other dupes from W7, so why not? And that also comes with these. These are the dupes of the their Huda Beauty ones. Oh, I'm going to buy the pastel ones, but yeah. So this is the Vivid um outrageous or outrageous orange oh i haven't taken away the plastic and i compared one of them and it was so similar but they usually are and i said that to molly because she was with me when i bought these um that i'm that type of person that has both the original and like a thousand dupes why because I'm stupid like that. It's actually fun because when I look at this, this looks more green than the other one, but it's not, but yeah. No. Uh, that was called glowing green. And the last one is called, I think, pushing pink. No, punchy pink. Punchy pink. It's unbelievable that, that they are allowed to do like this. And no one talks about it. You all hate on revolution. That does like 50 50. Um, but when other brands do it, like Technique or W7 or other brands, then it's okay. Oh, I hate when there are being glue left. Ugh. Go away. 
go away. Oh, I have to fix that later. Let go. So it looks like that. They usually have good dupes, like I said, so they are a very cheap alternative because these cost five dollars. Then I got this from Linda, a mirror from Primark. Oh my god, I love this. And it says practically perfect in every way. It's when you know they had a Disney thing. So she bought this when she was in London. I know you can see. I love this. It's a really good mirror as well. Yeah. I love this. Thank you so much, Linda. I was so happy to get this. And while we're on that, we can take... I got some more things from... Um, Marlin, uh, she forgot three palettes, but you know, I'm just happy I'm getting stuff. So uh, I got a professional, which is good because I think I threw mine away because it's empty and this isn't open yet. So that's awesome. And her MAC concealer and I have never had a MAC concealer. So that will be interesting. And a paint pot in, um, what's it called? Soft ochre because I have um, painterly. So that will be fun to try, like that. And I also got a palette, take it here. It's from Victoria's Secret. It's called Neutrals. Oh, and here's a pen that I'm going to take out. It looks like that, it's cool tone. She has declutter a lot and taking out stuff that isn't cruelty free and, you know, being more, <laughs> good about what she likes and what to keep and stuff like that so I have gotten a lot of stuff and I'm so grateful so this is what it looks like I really love the packaging can you be here can we do like this and another one from W7 yeah I don't know what this is duping but I'm just it's duping something. If you know what it's duping, can you please tell me? This is the Wild Eyes. And it's not an Anastasia palette because it doesn't have that uh, amount of shades. Maybe it isn't duping anything, but wh why wouldn't it? I thought it was the Norvina palette, but there are not enough shades. But yeah. And I'm taking out the brush that you get with it as well. No, no, no. let's fix that then I got this one from Beauty Bay because it only cost four dollars and it's you know for six shadows if you I only want to take six of them with me uh, I have two big ones but you know I don't like how these look you know the design but yeah these are good they are sturdy and they are thin so you can put in other shades as well because it's big pants you know Then I got some stuff from Wet n Wild and I've been wanting these forever but I only, I was kind of only interested in the highlighters and a bit, I know I'm crooked, uh, and a bit of the eyeshadows but not really and they sold these kits uh, <laughs> so I bought them but you get all the stuff so it's their um, Zodiac collection so I'm just going to do like this. You get a liquid, I think they all are lip gloss, but they are really different. Some are, are more opaque and some are more glittery. They actually look really nice, especially, look at this. That looks really nice, but yeah. But then there are, look like this. But then there are ones that look like this. This looks like more like lipstick because it's no shine in it but yeah so there are 12 shades um and like i said they look really nice actually um look at that pinky peachy go yeah Ooh. so i i have 12 glosses because i use lip gloss that much can you be there without falling please thank you and you got four mirrors that are so okay cheap <laughs> it's like it's so 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 cheap it's just a mirror you know 
and they have different yeah, yeah. let's put them here then we have the eyeshadow eyeshadow i don't know if i'm going to use it for eyeshadow so this is the um, air i hate their packaging because it's so cheap and the stickers are annoying to take off uh, so this is the air with duochrome i don't know if you can see but that is a duochrome um i think they are more like highlighters but yeah they are colorful highlighters so maybe not but eyeshadow i don't know they're only shimmers then we have water they all look the same just different shades so there are six shades in all of them this is earth right yes really pretty though and fire i don't like this packaging it's so hard to store when it's an eyeshadow and that comes from the person who don't think this is a problem to store oh god i love that palette yep and then for the highlighters that i wanted the most or one of the <laughs> it's these type of highlighters so this is the one i wanted the most this is water because we don't get these to sweden I bought this from Boosie Shop, I think it's called, that they are in the Netherlands. They are really great. And then this is Earth. They are kind of baked. Um, oops. And this is Air. This is also so pretty. And you can see the pattern here with all the signs. And the last one is fire. Whoop. So yeah. And when I've ordered from Booster Shop, I got a Revolution palette for free that I have not seen. So it hasn't been on the Revolution site. It's called Brave Spirit. But I think this looks cool. This is my type of free palette. Because it's colorful. And there are some mattes and some shimmers, but mostly satins. So it may work, but I got it for free. So, And I, the reason I made the order from the beginning is because they had a half off of Nabla Glimmer Light uh, Multi-Reflective Illuminating Palette. And I've been wanting this. Looks like that. I have swatched it a bit. It looks so pretty. And I actually used... Was it this one as a highlighter? It was so pretty. Look. Oh, I think this is so pretty. Yeah. And is this? No, it's not. I ordered some shades from Lethal Cosmetics. I can't show you which because I have already organized them in my palette. Uh, but you got it with this palette that I really like. And um, so I ordered nine. Because the other palettes were, you know, the open ones were sold out. So, and if you wanted the deal, you had to take it with a palette. But I actually wanted this palette because then you can take nine shades with you. Um, so, and it's really good quality. So, yeah, I really like this. And I got nine shades. But like I said, I've already put them in with my 24 that I had before. But I think... It was a yellow, I think that yellow, and maybe the pink, and that one I know, and one of the shimmers, I think that shimmer. Yeah, but it was a nine shades, and I think I got that dark matte purple, where is it there, and the grey. But yeah, I love the lethal shades, they are so good, especially the mattes. Um, but it annoys me that I have two here, but I think I'm going to put in the menagerie shades here. You know, the extra. But I have them in this palette. Let's put you over there. Then I got, um, I ordered this on the second restock, I think. This is Amy Hearts Beauty, right? And it's the Alma pal palette. palette. The Alma palette. 
Uh, and I really like Amy. This is in collaboration with Amy Hart's makeup, I think. They are so close together. <laughs> and I really like her. So this is nothing against her. But when I open this, this looks like... Now I have tried to clean it. But this looked like a hot mess. And you know, some of these shades... This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the pattern here. But this is what it looks like when I have repressed my shades. And... Like I said, I have fixed, but can you see that there is a line here? There were eyeshadow everywhere and they are so crumbly that I'm afraid they will break. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. But this looks like, oh, we have to make a lot of palettes quick. Um, and it's so. it looks like I have used it a lot and... It's so badly pressed that I, it feels like they are going to fall apart. I have swatched the shades when I clean them, some of them, and they look really pigmented. But I don't know. I think this looks like I have made it myself. And I know it's an indie brand and everything. And like I said, I love Amy. But this was so expensive for me to get. And when it looks like this... You know, when I press my eyeshadow, I at least clean them up. But this looks exactly when I have pressed in my... I don't know if you can see because I can see. But can you see the pattern? This is... I don't know if you can see it. That is what it looks like when I have pressed my shadows with uh, toilet paper. And some are not filled at all. And some are... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The, I I don't know anything about the quality, but I don't like the experience of opening it up and looking like this. That's what all I can say. Um, but I really hope it's good. But a lot of people say, so I trust them. Is there only revolution left now? I think so. I bought this. Kisses! Because I thought this looked so pretty. And they are usually good quality. The lights are very bright, so it's making it look a little, little washed out, but it's really nice. And then I bought these. <laughs> I've been wanting this for such a long time because I have the new nudes. What's it called? That? Or was it called new neutrals? I think it's called new neutrals. What? Yeah, new neutral because the one that is duping the Huda one. And they came out first with this. Uh, this is the All That Glistens, Glistens, and I didn't buy it from the beginning because, yeah, there is that stupid concealer shade. Why? Ugh. And there is pressed glitters, and I don't like pressed glitters in palettes like these. Uh, but I bought it because I can't have all except one. Then I bought the new ones. This is the Smoked. And there is also pressed glitters, but not as much, so... This looks really pretty. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's me. Mm, yeah. And blushed. This is like a rose gold. And these shades, like these two, they are so nice when you swatch them. They are like duo. They are so cool. Yeah, like that. And the last one, passion, right? Yep. A passion. I don't know why I do that. Like that. That shade. Can you see that shade up there? That looks... Ooh. Is it a cream? Oh, it's a cream. Oh, my God. Does it say that? What's it called? Cora. Mm. But it is a cream. Is that also a cream? Yeah. Oh! That's kind of weird. But they are creams. Were there creams in the other palettes? I don't think so. Yeah, that's interesting. Then I bought um, one of the Alexis Stone palettes. This is big 
I can't imagine how big the original palette is. This is just a trans transformation palette because it was on sale. It looks really cool, but it's it's weird. The shades look totally different when you see it in the camera than when I see. This looks blue, but it's super purple when I look at it. I don't know if you can see that because the lights won't hit this in another way. Weird. And that shade. Yeah, but it's, yeah. They don't look the same in the camera as they do here. Interesting. Then I bought these. Uh, and the highlighters of look like the Lunar Beauty ones I will show you. But it's so interesting because there are three highlighters and two of them have the same name as the palettes. So I'm guessing, you know, should there be another one? I don't know. This is the Black Eyes. Anyway, it's really pretty. Yay. Let's do like that. And mirror. So it's the silver one. So there is not one that is like the white highlighter, but maybe will come, maybe. They look really nice. I bought them for the packaging, but it's nice that they look nice. And the highlighters, this is the mirror illuminator. All these are very light. Uh, they work on me anyway, even though one of them looks dark. This looks like that. It's more like a pinky one. And they look just like the Lunar Beauty one. This is the black eyes. And this looks dark, but it really isn't. And this is the same formula. It feels like, can you see? It's not dark at all. Like the Feels 3D highlighters that they have. And I'm going to show you. Yeah. Here is my Manny. They are different, but really not. So this is the glass crystal. It looks like that. I don't think this is because I only have one. Let's put it there. And this is not a dupe for that one. So there are, is there the same amount in it? It's actually 10.5 grams in the Lunar Beauty one, and there are only 10 in this one. Um, but it, it's interesting how they had to copy it straight off. But yeah. but yeah, it looks like that. So this one is more holographic, and this one is more pinky. Yeah, whatever. No, it should be there. And the, uh, yeah, I got the mascara for free. Uh, it's the superhero it Cos from It Cosmetics. I really want to try that. Then I have these two palettes. And it doesn't say what they are called. But I just put them in my uh, inventory. And one of them is called Let's Go Wild, I think. It should be this one. And the other one was just called Neutrals. But I will have to label them. But how annoying not to put that on the palette. Why? No, but it's the ones that are in collaboration with NAF. I have the other two. So this looks like that. Does it say in here? I'm not afraid to sparkle. Okay. This looks like that. That shade and that shade looks so interesting. But they're only neutral, new, neutral mattes. But yeah, that looks pretty. It's really sparkly. And... What does this say? Let's go wild. Yeah, that's what it was, was called. So yeah, that looks like that. Interesting to have a green and a red and a purple matte. And the shimmers are different. Oh, that is cream. I thought, you know, I think I've touched this before. But that feels exactly like a super shock shadow. Weird. Yeah, I remember. This looked exactly like the other palette I swatched. And it feels like a cream. Is there anyone else that is cream? No, weird. 
it looks like that anyway was that all a haul in 30 under 30 minutes and now it passed 30 minutes yeah but i have stuff coming in but you know my color pop order has taken forever it's over a month ago since i ordered that one and i'm also waiting for oh they finally lowered the price because beauty bay uh, i'm wanting the suva beauty hydra i'm sorry i'm not in the middle hydra no not hydra hyper you know the one with the uv shades and that has been costing 65 dollars on beauty bay for me it's like 650 650 swedish crowns and that's ridiculous but now they have finally lowered it to 35 dollars so i ordered that one and i also ordered a wired palette from urban decay it finally came so i can order it yay <laughs> uh but that will be hopefully in my next haul and now i'm going to put this back and I hope that my next video I'm going to record is my palette collection and I will be doing it like sitting here and showing you the palettes because even though that will probably take forever it's easier for me than just going around because I have a problem with doing that if you remember from my videos I did the last time um, but yeah this was all and I will try to edit this and have it up for you as fast as I can. So yeah, bye!